When you start working with large documents that have many, many pages or multiple page documents, um, you are most often working with um, documents that have lots of text. They just kind of go hand in hand. You have lots of pages, you often have lots of text. And oftentimes you're not the person responsible for writing the articles that are going to go into a newsletter or a newspaper that you're working on, or maybe you're formatting books for clients and they're writing hundreds of pages at a time. They're probably going to want to give you a file that is comfortable to them if they're not an InDesign user, and so that might be a Microsoft Word file. I'm going to show you how to place a Microsoft Word file and a Microsoft Excel file into your InDesign project if someone was to give you the file. So one option for getting text from one file, from a non-InDesign file to your InDesign project, is you can copy I'm going to do Command A to select all or Control A if you're on a PC and Command C and then you can paste it into your InDesign project. But sometimes the people who are giving you the file go out of their way to do formatting in the, in the Microsoft Word document or the Excel spreadsheet that you want to carry over to your InDesign document. And by just copying and pasting you're not going to get any of those settings. So I, I went to the Gutenberg project online and I pulled up just a sample book and I saved the text as a Microsoft Word document. You can see in this case it's not formatted so we're going to do the formatting in InDesign. But I have this file that I'm working from. If we go to InDesign and choose File and then Place. So I have a new document that I've created. It's just a one page document as an example. I made sure that I have facing pages turned on because that means I'm making a book. Um, if you choose File Place like you would to place artwork or an image you can choose more than just image files. I chose my, um, my Microsoft Word file here. If you just choose the file and choose open, you will get what is called a loaded cursor. I'm working too fast, I think, for my system right now. It's going to be a really long document. It's many stories that I copied. Um, the loaded cursor allows you to click and drag and make a a box for your text to go in and then you could then thread the text by using the port button from one frame to the next until you've placed all of your artwork. I'm going to delete that. However, if you go back and you choose file place and you use the show import options before you select your file and choose open, you'll get a dialog dialog prompt that appears before you place your artwork that allows you to make decisions about how you want that artwork to come in, what settings you want to keep from that Microsoft Word document, and what settings do you want to forget. And so what I like to choose is I like to make sure that I come down here and I remove all styles and all text attributes so that I'm just importing text and I'm not importing anything that would need to be edited. You'll still get that loaded cursor. And I guess again I'm working too fast for the document. And if you were to click, so you have a couple options when you place this. I could have made a, a text box first and then I could have imported into the text box. I can click and drag to make a text box like I did before or I'm just going to click up here at the top corner of the margins and it will automatically adjust the text box to be the entire width of the page. Now that I have it in here, I can go through and I can start modifying. And there's a lot of things that we can do to clean this text up. We can remove um, hidden characters and keystrokes that we didn't want. We can apply paragraph styles, character styles, etc. But that's one way to get all the text into your document. Now, in my example here, I only have a one-page document, so all the text is overflowing this box. I have overset text. And so I would need to create additional pages. And then I would have to flow the text from the first page. Click the red port button. Each page that I go to, I can click. Whoops, went too fast there. I can click between the margins, and it will automatically flow to the whole width of the page. If that's not what I want, I can do some other InDesign things to fix that, but at a very basic level, that gets my text into my project and now I can start editing it as the designer.